Indonesian writer-director Camila Andini's new movie, Before, Now and Then, also known as Nana, had its public premiere at the 72nd Berlin International Film Festival. The movie explores the story of a woman going through a midlife crisis in rural Indonesia during the year 1960s. Cannot wait for that to be premiered here Me in Indonesia. Too. And in one interview, Andini describes it as a simple period film, employing a gentle touch and supple compositions. And to talk about her new movie, we have with us on Asia Prime, Andini joining us now from Berlin for the Berlinale screening. Hello, Andini. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry. I'm outside, so it's not very um, good, maybe, with the wind and everything. But yeah, it's, I'm with you. Yeah, it's OK. We can still hear your voice clearly. And first of all, congratulations okay. for the world premiere. But all the tickets are sold out. So what's actually the story of Nana this time, Andini? Yeah, I think you mentioned it before already, right? The synopsis. So yeah, it's a, it's a story of a woman, a Sundanese woman in 1960s in Indonesia. It's a story about secrets and paradox within the marriage, household, and also the political condition of the country itself. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we cannot wait for the screening in Indonesia, especially after sure. the success of Uni, right? Yes. We're all a fan of the feature film. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm meeting 600 tickets were sold out on the screening of Nana in the Berlinale. Uh, how was the international audience reaction after the screening in the palace? Um, it was a great night, actually. Um, it's my first experience in the main competition. I've been here in Berlinale several times before. I've been a jury as well in generation section. But this is my first time stepping in into the red carpet of main competition, which the film shows in the, the most prestigious um, building or theater um, building in, in, the, in the country, which is Berlinale Palace. And it's such an honor. It's such a big uh, stage as well for all of us. Um, and it was great. I mean, a lot of people really connected to the film. Um, they can see a lot of textures about Indonesian culture and, um, and stories as well in the film. So we had a good review as well. So it's good, yeah. Mm, OK. And we should say that we saw the video before that Camila Andin looks stunning on the red carpet Amazing, together all with the actors and the actresses and <laughs> so all proud. the crews of Nana. But Dini, Nana brings up issues on politics and then rebellion, also patriarchal, social life. Any words on these specific issues, Dini? Mm -hmm. um, I think um, I think I can say that um, in our Hmm. Looks like we're having trouble hearing um, okay. uh, hearing Andini. Okay, uh, still let's waiting. hope the connection issue resolves soon. Yep, as we mentioned before, while waiting for the connection to come back. Mm -hmm. Dini, can you hear us? Dini? I'm not sure. Probably. Hello? Nah, yes. we can hear you right now. Hello? Okay. Please continue, Dini. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, what I mean, as a, as a filmmaker, as an Indonesian, I think um, I know, we know that we had a lot of secrets, a lot of mystery in our history in the past. And this, story, this particular story is uh, based on true characters as well, true events. And um, we can, uh, from the film, we can really see how how things are not revealed yet up until now, and um, and I think it's important to still talk about this thing um, even today. Mm. Um, as we mentioned before, the movie Nana is set in the year of. Indonesian 1960s. Now, can you tell us specifically why you chose this um, period of time instead of others? 
Um, as I said before, uh, the story based on a true um, character experience. Um, and so um, it's a Sundanese woman, the mother of Jais Darga, and, um, and a story about her. So, of course, in terms of time, um, the time that chosen in the story is time that, that actually her life, uh, when her life is going on. Um, but other than that, um, I'm a Sundanese myself. I have a grandmother, both of grandmother that is Sundanese. And some of them also experienced the same thing during the, uh, the era. So maybe this is so, uh, a particular thing why this era is quite important as well for, for the film. Okay, it's taken from the Ahda Imran's autobiography called Jais Darga Namaku, if we're not mistaken. Uh, Dini, uh, yeah. it's probably... Yeah, that's true more personal you watched it with your mother sitting beside you how does it feel um it was very emotional actually i made the film for her and for my grandmas as well um it's my heritage um and my legacy as well so it was quite emotional for both of us yes mm, i'm sure she's and the whole family must be very proud of you uh, Andini Nana will be competing with no less than 17 other movies for the Golden and Silver Bear Award of the Berlinale. Yep. Now, how do you feel about the competition? Are you ready to bring home the award? Uh, well, actually, I'm very honored just to be in the competition itself. I mean, it's a big thing for Indonesian cinema even to be in the competition. Um, together with um, names of directors that I watched their films since high school is already an honor. For me, this is already an achievement. Uh, if um, we got something, then, then it's good. But even if it's not, um, I think I, I already proud on where we are. Yes, we are very proud of you, Andini. The last question, when will Nana meet us here in Indonesia? Mm, can't wait. Um, yeah, I, I cannot say anything about that. I mean, we have to wait um, until the further announcement to be made, yeah. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much for joining us live from the Berlinale in Europe. That was Indonesian, the humble and talented Indonesian director, Camila Andini. Thank you, Dini. Stay safe Asia there. Prime.